Okay, so here we are. We are on Dinkum. I haven't played Dinkum in quite some time. Got distracted by other games. So we are starting a new island because they... James is prepping for another update. Winter on fire, basically, is not exactly what it's called, but we will have a winter season with snow and all sorts of snow path, like ice pathing and stuff like that. But then we will also have a new level of the mines. And I'm not looking forward to this new level of the mines because we just got the Peaceful Wish uh, fountain, or the, the Wish fountain in the Autumn Breezy update that was happened a couple of months ago. And uh, yeah, um, so the uh, ability to make the island peaceful, unless you attack something, with this mine level doesn't apply. And they're not, because they're not animals and they're not creatures, they're humanoid uh, mobs. And so they don't fall into the peaceful thing. And there's a lot of them, but there are really cool prizes down there. So uh, we are going to... Um, I wish there was a randomization for the character creation. So we're going to start a new island and see how far we can get. I'm going to try and make it a non-dev island um, unless we start doing some building. So this will just be initial uh, gameplay on that. And if you all like it, I might make it a series and go back to my roots because this is where I started was with Dinkum and Rancher Rivershine. So <laughs> let's see. Uh... Let's just say Hazel. I don't know why, it just came to mind. Um, uh, edge of tomorrow, for no reason in particular. So we're gonna create, and let's see what kind of map we get. Hopefully we get along a nice map. Um, I think you can skip this, but I'll leave it just in case somebody some of you others haven't seen this game yet this is an indie game developed by an australian gentleman named james benden um he's been on it for several years and it came out i think this is the two-year anniversary of it so um it's a really cute game it's kind of a post-apocalyptic uh, survival game but um it's taken a life of its own other than what james um thought it would be and uh, people have learned how to decorate and build amazing things in this game. So, uh, yeah. And it's kind of like Stardew Valley and Minecraft and, well, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing with a hint of Minecraft thrown in. Let's put it that way. Is we're leaving the main establishment. I think this is the main establishment for like the world. South City, everybody lives here and it's boring and all you have are blobfish to eat. And it's cold all the time. So we are now flying over the edge of tomorrow and we'll be landing shortly. It's a beautifully rendered game. I really love this game. All passengers, please prepare to leave the air. Ooh, we got the tower right there. Let's hope we're right close to it. We are hot damn. Let's hope there's no crocs. No crocs. Can't deal with the crocs. Looks like we've landed. Oh, I need to... I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you've decided to accompany me on this adventure, Hazel. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, Hazel. I'll see you outside, okay? Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Oh. Oh, and it's raining. Yes, there's dynamic weather. Oh, we got a doggo den right there. All right. Let's talk to Fletch. Wow, smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on edge of tomorrow. Now, Hazel, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you the space tent. Take your time. Find a good place for it. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back edge of tomorrow for a very long time but i think i can still be helpful i'll be waiting by this dock until you set up the base tent so if you get lost check your map to find the dock again good luck we got a we got a base tent and we got a map okay so the one thing like this you'll notice on the left hand side um up in the left hand corner it says sunday 
summer day one 10 o'clock base of operations a place to put the tent what this means is for this first day time will not start until you um until you place this base tent down so, and actually yeah i'm gonna bring up the uh, hang on one second i'm gonna bring up nope that's not what i wanted nope that's also not what i wanted um settings that's what i wanted <laughs> trying to get so i want the effect voice chat not it i don't really want the kind of wanted the um full screen chunk view distance okay we're gonna go back we're gonna go back there are creatures here that can kick your butt oh wow no not what i wanted get off that um ooh, some more over here so the doggos are good the kangaroos unless you attack them they're good basically the first day Gather everything you can, logs, um, flowers, everything. Hello, puppies. This time won't start. Now, there are rare doggos that you can find on the islands uh, during thunderstorms, which this is just a rainstorm, but on thunderstorms, uh, you can find what's called thunder eggs. They can kill you if they land on you, or they can set you on fire, one of two things. Let's take a look at, whoops, hang on. Let's take a look at our island. You just scroll back out. Ooh, this is an interesting island. Each island is randomly generated. So you never get the same one twice, ever, 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 ever. There's like a map and then the, the system, computer system auto-generates one every time. You could go back and generate, you know, 20 of these and people have done this. So this, you can see in the center, the square is all these outer places and there's little tiny islands all over I'm pointing like you can see there's little tiny islands all around it you can see where the dock is and you can see the golden arrow where I am and of course um you can see these lakes and these rivers that go all through and this is um like the forest area these are the bushlands this is the desert this is the tropics now each zone has um, a baddie per se type of monster so th this area this pine forest has what they call bush devils, which in reality are very tiny, but very fearsome. fearsome. Um, these bush devils are very large, very black. They look kind of like a black bear with very long teeth, very long teeth, and they shoot fireballs. And they are very aggressive, extremely aggressive usually, but they sleep during the day. So if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. But if you go out at night, they are roaming everywhere and they are voracious. In the tropics, you have what are called wary moose in this game. They are basically the equivalent of Australia's cassowary, or cassowary, which is a large black bird with a horn on its head. And they are also very aggressive. And uh, these guys nest in groups. The eggs are worth a lot. The meat from the cassowary is worth a lot. And if you can trap them, um, it's a if you can lay down, like go up, uh, there's, there's trapping in this game. If you can lay down like a trap site, uh, you launch them up by balloon. It's hilarious. Um, lay a site down in the middle of their nesting area and then put some traps all around it. That is worth about $9,000 per bird if you can get them to run in if you don't die. <laughs> and then you can just go reset the traps, leave the the uh, the um, send off place. So that's really cool. And then over here, of course, we have alligators or crocodiles. I should say not alligators, crocodiles. They will eat your bum. Yeah, they will eat your bum. And then there are sharks, great white sharks out in the ocean. So there are things that will kill you. Um, there are all sorts of other animals out here. Kangaroos, kidnas, um, all sorts of things. But um, they will, the rest of them will only attack if you attack. So the sharks, the gators, the wary moos, and the bush devils are the main things that you need to worry about, at least on land. In the mines, it's something different. Um, so we are looking for a good spot. So we're here right now. We're looking for a good piece of land to put our town. You can fill up this island eventually. You can make roads. I have a friend who made roads from this, from one side like this, all the way from the top to the bottom. 
Rymanara, her she is doing wonderful. So look for um, if you want other streamers who do Dinkum, Rymanara, Katie Gentleman, Serendipity Plays, um, Grammy Q. There are bunches of other uh, Jersey games. I'm trying to remember everybody, I don't want to leave people out, but I know a lot of different streamers who do this game. Uh, April Honey plays this game a lot. So I don't know that I want to have my island in the middle of the lake. I mean, we could do here. The time won't start. Basically, we don't have any weapons. That's the problem. We don't have any weapons right now. But we can sell stuff. Not today. These bushes. Gather these bushes. There's there's yellow ones and there's red ones. Um, there's a dog swimming. You can swim in this game. There are bugs to collect. It's also a good point of view to look both ways and make sure there are no, um, there is, make sure there are no critters that are going to attack you while you're in the water, like sharks or crocs. Um, there is stamina in this game. Um, if you can see my health bar and my stamina bar to the left. Um, so try and get like limes and apples, anything you see floating around on trees, like here's another lime tree. Um, the dogs will hunt and they will kill things like roos, kangaroos, take the meat. Um, this is pretty over here. We could do this. We could put like our, um, our base tent over here and just kind of build around this town. Oh, there's another island over here. We can make a causeway. And there are jellyfish. Excuse me, I forgot jellyfish. Okay, so we are... Where are we? Oh, we're going up. Oh, crap. So we could build a causeway here and then just make this whole area and build another causeway here. It would take a long time with a shovel, but we can, we can work on that. So that's going up. And you notice the time is still at 10 o'clock. Uh, ores like this and the rocks. I wouldn't destroy the doggo dens just because just my my thing. I don't want to destroy the doggo dens because there's a chance that a rare doggo may be around and I want a rare doggo. If a rare doggo does happen to be, there are five of them. There are German Shepherd, Poodle, Border Collie, um, Terrier, and then there is a Blue Healer. If one does show up, I am dev commanding in a um, collar, which you can usually get in the mines. And I am also dev commanding in fencing so that I can put him somewhere where he will not get eaten or hurt or any such thing as that. But the ores are important because you will need ore for everything. Um, so let's look both ways, make sure nothing but doggos are in the water. And there seems to be quite a lot of doggos. And the land does change and there are all sorts of different trees and stuff. But this is a really fun game. It can be really frustrating at times, but it can be, it's a really fun game. Jump. It does take a while. You'll eventually, after we set down a base tent, and um, looking for doggos. After we sent down a base tent and then our tent and we start this off, there's a cockatoo in the water. I don't know what that was. I really don't want to run into any crocodilians, but I know that they will be around. There is no getting around them. Sometimes you can outrun them until we get weapons. I'm just trying to collect everything I can find while I decide where I want to put our tent. Um, so this is that center island. I think it is anyway. We might we might do good to build here. This might be a central location. Ooh, yes, please. You can also plant trees and grow your own orchard which is very helpful.
I am excited. I've been watching people play the, the beta for the next update. I'm super excited because there are really some nice things um, that will be coming into effect, such as um, one of my favorite things. And I will, this is spoilers. So if you don't want to hear, you know, plug your ears and go la 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 la. Um, uh, we're not quite, but there's that one. We could do this whole thing. That's kind of nice. It's got some, that would be this one, right? Is that that one? Yeah. But um, there are something called tree handling gloves, meaning you put these gloves on and you can pick up a tree from anywhere. And I mean anywhere. And then you don't have to. You can just replant it wherever you want, including on pathing. And that is a fantastic, amazing thing. Maybe we could use this one, but I think I wanted to this one. So these ore deposits are really important, like I said. Doggo. That's the frog jumping, not me. Oh, here's some bananas. We've got bananas. We've got quandongs. Got all sorts of lovely things. And the music turns off and then turns back on again. Um, it does kind of loop itself. That's the frogs jumping. I always thought it was me. I was like, why is my heart beating? But eventually when you get your first resident uh, to visit your town, much less come visit a uh, state, move in, you will be able to sell a bunch of stuff. And of course you need all the wood and I need stone, but I don't have, I don't have anything yet. There's a kidna. Where are we? So we're facing this island. I want to go see what this island is about. Some places are like havens for crocodiles and you there see there's some that's what I was afraid of. There's two crocodiles right over there. Three crocodiles actually watching us. Waiting. Sneaky little you know what? And there looks like there's two kinds of roos. There's a regular roo, like that pale one you just saw. And there's a red roo. This is a tropical little area. These are like wild turkeys or scrub turkeys as they're called. More bananas. And they will give you some meat. They're easy to kill. Like I said, I'm just trying to harvest everything. Oh, the dogs are fighting with a... The echidna is fighting with an alligator or a crocodile. So you can see the echidna has it's a um, rolling... A rolling attack. We want to get up here so we don't get attacked. So the echidna won. So we definitely want to watch out for that. These are big jiggly rocks that hold a lot of stuff. Sometimes if you're up here, the enemies can't get you. Sometimes. So we are facing that island over here. I have a feeling this is going to be like a haven for wary moose. But I wonder what this one... So you can see how it's resembling Minecraft with all of this. Oh, I didn't get up there. I left a banana. Let's see, there's some, ooh. Darn me that I don't have a bug net on me right now. See, there's another echidna attacking a dog. The dog's probably gonna lose, but you never know. Watch this drama unfold. Oh, I think the dog, yep, the dog died. Whoa, dear, whoa, 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 dude. You're good, you're good. Chill out. So you can pick up the free meat as the dogs do go hunting. We've got this red root here. This looks like a nice big plot of land. And you can always fence in. I think this is where we were originally. 
you can always fence it in and keep the, um, the as we call them, the crocagators out. Where am I? That's a big piece of land. Just trying to explore some. Find something that has like, uh, there's a shark. These are mangroves. They only grow in the mud. So we've got all sorts of fish in here. Fishing is different. You don't just put your pole in the water and wait for the fish. You have to look and see if there are fish before you um, decide to go fishing. These over there. Let's see what we've got over here. If there's no wary moose here, I might. There's some doggos. Don't get in the way of the dogs when they're hunting because you will inadvertently get attacked. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Oh, this is cool. We could build a raised city. A city of bridges, but bridges are hard to come by. Excuse me, turkey. So it doesn't look like there are wary moose here, which is good. There's a regular emu. He's not harm. You can get riding um, saddles for both this emu and the crazy wary moose. These dogs are hunting the scrub turkey. I don't want to get in their way. But they will, they will attack it and they will eat it. I think this would be a good place for our town. Maybe. No doggo. I'm gonna build around the doggo things. Now there might be, might be wary moves over here. Yep, there's one right there. That cassowary, and they have a huge aggro range. Like really big aggro range. But once you get weapons, then you can learn how to hunt them. And it's not so scary. Oh my god. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm sorry. You can hear that music, maybe. Excuse me. That means they have a huge aggro range. See? <laughs> He's over there just making sure I do not come back. And I do not have a um, weapon on me. So I definitely don't want to piss him off. And he's supposed to reset and go back to where he's from. But you can take them out, but it just requires patience and a little skill. A little teeny bit. I have a little bit of skill. See, and then we can make a bridge over here. So you can't jump up three, that's three layers. But you can jump up two layers. Okay, I think he reset. This has a good mix of regular trees, pine trees, and the tropical trees. You need all sorts of wood, and if you don't have to go to the other end of the island to get it, that's always a plus. Excuse me, scrub turkey. Now I may have to set the, the tent down here or on this other side. Yeah, I think he went back. Because you need a lot of flat land. And if there's things in the way, here, I'll show you. If there's flat, if there's stuff in the way, oh, you can put it right there. Oh, that's interesting. But see how someone's in the, something's in the, oh, really? That's odd. It's like if I try and put it, Oh, it'll just take the trees out. I see. Yeah, see, it says not on level ground, so it has to be on enough level ground. Um, well, let me see. Do I want? I don't think I could put it up here because it's not level not level enough. But I could put it. Oh, I could put it right there. Or even right there. Hmm. Okay. Sure, it's a good place for the base tent. Usually you can't if something's in the way. So this is where you decided to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home on the edge of tomorrow. 
thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. I know it's not much, but it will be a place you can call home. There's plenty of room to spread out here on Edge of Tomorrow. So please take your time and place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. So keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come speak to me once you have placed your tent. Okay. So now time should start or maybe after we place our tent. So if I try and place my tent. Okay, I could do that. Um, but do I want to put mine? Let's say I want to put mine over here. Sure, this is a good place. Usually you can't put it. If there's trees in the way, usually you can't do that. But this seems like a good place. All right. Then time still hasn't started, I guess, when we complete this quest. You found a good place for your tent. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got that spark, Hazel. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader, John? Um... No. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in, visi in visiting with his shop here. I'll tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get his visit this visiting, bleh, visiting site deed ready for him. That way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to the edge of tomorrow. I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like they're part of the community. On the edge of tomorrow. Who knows, maybe we convince, convince him to set up a permanent shop. Be sure to talk to me once you have placed the visiting site deed. Okay. Time still hasn't started. So we want the visiting site deed. I think we'll put it over here. Um, need to rotate. Oh, well, that's, I see what it means by not on level ground. So we could put it right there. This definitely needs to be evened out some, so we'll do that. Okay. So it's right here. I can see it's building a pathway and some steps, clearing some of these trees out. Time still has not started. So I've got my tent. And there is a knockout time. Uh, there is not a knockout time, excuse me. But after midnight, the time will go late and then you'll be very tired and your stamina bar will be like that. So you'll have to eat a lot. Speaking of which, I could start eating. Oh, it's going to let's see. Stamina hasn't started yet either. Oh, right click. <laughs> Left clicking. So we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done. We've only been here a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on the edge of tomorrow, you know? True blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journals. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself, but I'm getting a bit long in the tooth. Please, I want you to take his journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. Okay? We have achievements. There are a lot of achievements in this game. Okay? The journal means a lot to me, but I think my dad would see now time starts. Would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But I have a challenge for you. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of those milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to those journals. We Those will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you should pass, you'll be... That you'll be rewarded with permit points. This woman is an extortionist through and through. I swear to God, she is. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. Yes, you are. If you want a helicopter, you're going to need a butt ton of um, permit points. And permit points will be right here. This is our gold. You can see our time is now started. Well, we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find you've actually completed some of the milestones. Be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this tree, and that sounds tasty. You go find us some fruit, and when you get back, I'll find... Uh, I will show you how to cap... Wrath. I can't fire. I've already found the fruit. 
Oh, you found something to eat. Eating food will help keep your energy up. Here's a recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier so you can use those to craft your fire. Now you'll have to find some wood. I already found it. Feel free to use the crafting table right here in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time. When you're done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. Okay. Campfire. So there's the campfire and we can also do rock pathing, but only we're going to use this, so. And word of warning, you can set yourself on fire in this game. <laughs> Don't do it. <sighs> Don't. Wait, oh, this is a gum seat log. Oh my god. Yes, I'm creating one of these. Crafting is very big in this game. See, you can also create a crude fence. To get spinifex resin, you first, you need to get the spinifex and then you put it in the fire. And I can show you how to do that later, but not right now. Okay. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today. I think there is a great future for all of it, for us all here at Edge of Tomorrow. There's a gift for helping me out, son. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe catch some bugs. Maybe you could cook some of that fruit. I'm sure you will. Before I forget, take the sleeping bag. When you get tired, pop that on the ground, have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thank you for your help today. I can't believe we're on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> I couldn't have done any of this without you. Okay, sleeping bag. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the um, sleeping bag. Oh, it's in our inventory. So you can drag things down. Like I've got this Ruku. I'm going to put that up. I'm going to take these flowers and put them up here. I'm going to take this gum thingy. Well, actually, I'm going to take that, that, I'm going to put that. And then I'm going to open my milestones. So these are our daily milestones. These are the ones that we've already done. So we, we put our place uh, tent down. We explored. We walked about five kilometers. And we harvest mastered. We harvested 144 uh, fruit. Now we have to harvest 500. So these are your tasks. Your Wikipedia for crit uh, yeah, critters, fish, bugs, people. Your details. These are your levels for all of the things. So we've got, there is farming in this game, foraging, mining, fishing, hunting, and bug catching. You can take photos in this game. You can have animals, you can have chickens, wombats, um, platypus, dogs, or emus. Um, and yeah, so there's tons of milestones. So these, yeah, so these will always show in the bottom portion of your, the lower, lower left portion. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I don't want to put that in the tent, but I could. There we go. So there's our thing there. So, oh, look, the sun came out. So you can put your campfire down. I don't recommend, uh, I'm going to cook these steaks. It takes longer on a campfire. Eventually you'll get a bar, you'll be able to buy a barbecue, but it's like $30,000 or gold or whatever it is we have. Um, so this place looks so lovely. And we've got some doggo dens. We've got our visitor site. Um, now everything does, like I said, take stamina. And every visitor or villager that you get, I think Animal, animal um, Crossing, <laughs> has her own likes or dislikes. Fletch loves bush limes. If she asks you for something to eat, that's what she wants is a bush lime. And you see, we've caught that. There we go. You have to get just so close, but if you get too close, so this is our house, Hazel's house. This is a base tent. This is a visitor site. This is where we came in. So the tower, there's four teleportation towers. This is the first one. There'll be one probably up here. There'll be one here, and then there'll be one here. And then you get your own personal one that you could put like here, or you could put over here, wherever you want. Um, <clears throat> So like I said, everything takes stamina. There are hundreds of bugs and fish to catch. So explore, but be careful 
Like there's this butterfly over here. Blue moon butterfly, very common. You can set down the bugs um, on the ground so they don't fill up your inventory. And then you can turn them into sell either at John's or you can turn them in when we get our museum guy. Again, think Animal Crossing. Sometimes the villagers, oh, oh, you, I need you. I need you. You're rare. You're hard to get. Those little things, you saw how tiny that was? Those little things are so hard to get. People, the villagers ask for them like they're like nothing. Yeah, can you go find me this? I really want one. Really? It's a log. I thought it was a gator for a second. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to eat me. I am a chicken. I am a big baby, unless I have a weapon. I have a weapon, not a big baby so much, except for the mines. The mines freak me out. Now you will get a, a, how do, how do I say this? Rep, not a repair guy, but a, a guy who makes things, these things, these, these things are very important when you have something to open them up with, open it up, save everything because Franklin will need them. You cannot catch the frogs, however. This is another doggo den. Whenever you see these and some stones, it's most likely a doggo den. Jellyfish will poison you and will sting you. But they're slow. All right, Sunny. My, I moved some paper and my dog's like, what? What happened? All right, so we have caught some bugs. I think I'm going to pop across here. You can see the little fishies swimming down there. There's also critters that you can get in here. Like, um, like this one. You see, no, no, it's a fish. I was going to say like this one, but if you see like a line of bubbles or something like that, like sometimes you can like think, think this is a yabby. Yep. Freshwater mussel. So that did use up significant force of energy. You have to kind of wait for it to regen. Hopefully there's nothing I need to fight over here. I'm basically looking for bugs. For whatever reason, the, um, the villagers love to ask for bugs and flies especially. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Love to ask for flies. Don't know what they do with all the flies they get. But when they ask, they do request, they ask for flies. Super annoying. Oh, I'm not going that way. I cannot fight him with bug nets. <laughs> Let me have my weapon. Now, there are no swords or anything like that. You get spears. Um, or you get, like, an upgraded shovel that can whack the, the bejesus out of them. Also, something good to for early good money is to harvest these cactus figs. This is the spin effects I was talking about. But harvest these things if you're by the desert. And then cook them and then sell them. You can also use them for energy. I wouldn't do it. There are some physics in this game that will cause you to bounce off things and react in funny ways. I see you hiding there. If you whistle, which I think is N, the dog, the wild dogs will come running. Your farm animals will too. <laughs> so if you do find a rare doggo, use N if you're on a uh, PC and whistle. And you can whistle your dog home if you don't know how to do a uh, dev command. Oops. I'm back here. There we go. Ooh, that used up all my energy. <laughs> oh my God. So we just fulfilled our one of our daily tasks tasks we if you look in the lower left you can see that all of them are yellow which means we completed all three tasks oh, there's a fly yep i caught a fly if you ever get lost you're like oh my god i have no idea where i came from open up your map so you can see i'm all the way over here you can either do your hand or any your tent or any of these things left click it and then you see how it's shiny? When you look in your mini map, there it is. You will find it. 
I like I want to go home now. Yeah, let me move these papers. They're annoying me. They are annoying me. You can just follow. So I know that I'm not, I don't have to swim across there. But I do need to go this way. So I need to go back up this way. I'm going to try and catch this butterfly because it's different. Scarlet Jezebel. And then it's showing that we're this way. So we do have to cross the water over here. Here's another butterfly. Here's our emu. Did I not catch you? You need to dive. We caught a white yabby. There's all sorts of yabbies. Or there's two different kinds. What am I saying? All sorts. And then boom, we're home. Oh, dogs are hunting again. Grammy. So at four o'clock, Grammy or Fletch, I call her, call her Grammy. Uh, Fletch leaves her tent. If you had business to attend with her, like anything like moving a house or something like that, no, you can't do it. But you can go chat her up and get hearts with her. Take the rest of the day off. We've got more work to do. I'm on it. <laughs> so she didn't really have anything to say to us. Our meat is done. I am going to take these 10. I'm going to put this down. So you, this is a new thing that I think they added last time. So this is like a log bench. No, nope, wrong way. I don't want to sit this way. Is this? Oh my gosh. Do so I need to pick this up? Um, so I think it's Z to... Z to pick up? No. How do I pick this up again? Oh my god, I've forgotten. It's been so long since I played, I forgot how to pick up things. I caught some more bugs. So we've got 655. Um. Oh, eat for pick up. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Yep, see there's an arrow right there. So you can turn it so that you're facing... We can't fire. But how cute is that? <laughs> you want a bug? Anyone? Anyone want a bug? <gasps> oh my god. I, I wish there was a way to... Gotta be careful. I really don't want to set myself on fire. So I'm going to cook all these. Hopefully John will be here tomorrow. God bless you. Scared the crap out of me. Now they will sit on the um they will sit on the bench which is really cool sometimes though they'll be if there's more than one villager they will sit in the same spot and then it looks really freaky we're gonna try and just cook up some enough food and then we're gonna go to bed Oh, I need to put, put down all my um, my bugs. I just want to cook these up. I've got three left. I'll let you know, you could pick those up, honey. She seems like a, such a nice old lady. Swear, she is an extortionist of high level. And we got another one for cooking some fruit. Hot fruit. Sounds gross. It might be. Here's a milestone. <laughs> okay, so... Now. Oh, I, I know what I did. See, there we go. That's why I couldn't do that. So if you want to put down so your butterflies, I want to put them down here. You hold them in your hand and then I left clicked. And you can see the arrow. So I want to put it there. I'm going to take this other butterfly and I want to put it on the same spot. Left click so you can stack them too high. You can do the same with fishes in case you didn't know. Now I'm going to... Put these guys down here, this grass yellow one, that's not rare, but it's hard to see. Very hard to see. Um, so you can only put down two. I wish it could go taller. Um...
I'm just putting them basically anywhere. These you cannot place down. The um these guys, they don't they don't go down. For whatever reason, they don't. They fly. And you can always pick them up with E. So we've got two, four, six, eight. So we've got ten bugs. That's really good. Right, and you can see it's already 6.20 p.m. I'm gonna lay down, call it a day, sleep till tomorrow. We'll talk to John. Hopefully he'll be in. See what we can do for him. Sometimes they ask for the most outlandish stuff, and you're like, he's like, yeah, can you give me some new clothes? And I'm like, do you want the shirt off my back? Um, okay. Okay, so I, I love the fact that they give you a rundown. Where is my cursor? On what's gone on. Talking to people every day will increase the friendship. Someone is visiting the island. I think I know who it is. It's got to be John. Oh, doggy, please don't walk on the fire. That would be very upsetting to me. The doggies bark. I love it. Okay, let's go meet John. And I realize that the sound and the music might be a little too quiet. I'll try and fix that on the next time. So when somebody comes in, ooh, feathers, to your island, um, on your visitor site, a different color tent will appear for different people. I was supposed to talk to Fletch. I'm sorry, John. Let me go talk to Fletch first. Hey, Fletch. Hi. Ah, good morning. Did you happen to see that John has set up his tent at the visitor site? I told him all about how you about you and how you helped us get started here. He sounded impressed. He trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you can find on the island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, even rocks. He also sells a lot of useful tools. He's got mining equipment, logging tools, even some fishing equipment. Although he probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have all your licenses in order. You know about licenses, right? No. They're an old South City idea. Then why are we bringing them here? We shouldn't. I'll tell you what, you didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. See, we should be able to just buy our tools. But these days you need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. See, I told you she was an extortionist. If you want to apply for a license, come and talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them, but if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. As you get better at doing certain tasks, new license levels will open up too. Now, let's see if there is a license you can apply for right now. Well, we've got 855, so I think we can apply for three. So we definitely want mining and then I want logging and then I think I want I'm not sure if I want hunting or fishing fishing is really good money um excavation is 500 we can't do that but we can do fishing or hunting but then building we could do bridges but in order to do bridges, I really want, I think we need the hunting. I really think we need hunting. I think that's all we've got enough for yet because we have 105. So we've got a wooden bat, basic spear, and a basic hammer. Um, so, and our, our daily tasks are to catch three bugs, bury four fruit, which we cannot do because we do not have a shovel. I did not get the excavation. And then harvest 10 cactus figs. So we should be able to do some of that. So what I'm going to do now. Hey puppy. We really need. Um, yep, we really, let's see, these are like. So a shovel is 900. Oh, he's got that open. <laughs> a fishing rod is 1260. Pick is 1200. Uh. Hatchet is a thousand, bug net is eleven hundred. Your tools will degrade over time. Barbecue kit is thirty-four hundred. 
So what I'm going to do is sell him pretty much everything that I have. You must be Hazel. Fletch told me you're the one to thank for getting this place all set up for me. Thanks for that. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my wares. Feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in. Now I make most of my dinks selling exotic items. And it's anything that's not in South City. Back to South City. I guess you could say exotic means anything found here. So if you find anything, and I mean anything you don't want, please drop, uh, drop by and show it to me. I'll offer you a great price. Okay, let's see if we can sell some goods. I'm going to sell these things. I'm going to sell that. And you can select the amount. So, and you can also, like, if I want... Oops. I have 81. I want to sell 50. I'm going to sell all of those. And I'm going to sell those. Let's see. You can offer us 15,000. That's pretty, that's a lot. And we didn't even sell any bugs. So now we've made some dinks. We got some more. We got a hundred more. So everything else is, all the permit points are like 250. Wait, did I hit green crystal? Entrepreneur. So what I want is um, I want a basic pickaxe, 1,200. So kind of what the basic thing to do is maybe every day he's here, he'll be here every day until he, he moves in, is buy a new one. These are really cool. These are for fishing, which we don't have right now. And for rewards, you get coop, uh, prize tickets and you can get all these plushies and stuff. So, I'm going to get some of our bugs. Um, and then sell him. Oh, we got some food. All right, so I can sell him some of these. Hey, want to buy some bugs? Um, let's see, 3,000, 38, 3,100. All right, well, that's better than nothing. Okay. Um, so let us eat some food. Basically, the food will give us stamina, but it's not, um, I want this first. So this will also let you do the spin effects so that you can get all this is spin effects. Oops. So you can see my energy is going down. So just be careful how you use your energy. You see that little round circle right there. That'll also tell you when you've used too much. See how it's going down? And the trees give you seeds as well, so you can always replant your trees, which is really cool. Um, so I think... Oh, we can craft ladders already? Mangrove sticks. Oh, hell yeah. Um... I wanted to do a spear. Oh, I need a tin bar first. <gasps> oh, I don't have anything to do. I've got gumwood planks. I don't have... Oh, I can't do that yet. Oh, fletch. Task. I don't have any tasks currently. Oh, now I can get... I can get another thing. So I've got... Oh, maybe two things. Oh. Oh, he wants the, she wants the table saw. Okay. So she want, She's going to pay half. 2500 Considering I think it costs more than that. On to apply for a license. So, um, uh, 
Uh, trapping is 500 as well. Um, we could do fishing. Uh, then we don't have enough. A new license is available. Oh, a tool belt license. That's 250, but we don't have, we have 200, so. You can also, these things here, you can also store stuff in these if you want. Like if you run out of space, you will be able to get chests. Um, so we've got mangroves. Yes, free meat. But wherever you see free meat, beware. I know it's just the dogs this time. Um, I'm going to... Now, if you get in a place where you don't have these close by you, you can always just take a shovel full of dirt. Oh, we ran out of energy. You have to wait for it to replenish. You see up in the upper left how it's slowly coming back. And of course, everything fell into the water. Make sure there's nothing around that's going to eat me. Don't drown. Still coming back. So, and when you get wet, you can drip water. It's so cute. And then your stamina comes back and you're good. Okay, excuse me, doggy. You can use your axe and your pickaxe on these. Oh, um, where's my bug net? A lace wing. Okay. We got a new bug. <gasps> I'm just a bug catching fool. We cannot use our basic axe on these trees, these pine trees here too much. We can use our axe on this. And on these. And just doing these stumps gives you a log. Now look on the bottom of, of the toolbar. You can see how the um, weapons are losing their, their um, not stamina, but their usability. So I don't have anything to craft a furnace. Oh no, you can create the outhouse. <gasps> That's hilarious. I'm going to... So it needs eight, so I can craft one ladder. That's amazing. Uh, I don't need any more of that. You can create torches. That's really cool. So she hasn't given me a furnace. Oh, I need to buy the table saw. Crap. Let me buy the table saw before it's too late. So the table saw is 5200. Okay, sorry about that, John. Hey, um, do you want to um, buy some more stuff? Um, grass seed. Um, I'm going to sell this, this. I'm going to sell that. And I think that's all I'm going to sell. Ooh, 1044? Okay. Anything? Anything for money. Okay, so I bought the table saw. Let me go plant it. Or not plant it, but put it down. So we'll need an area, like a building area. Put that there. All right. We bought the table saw. Well done. Don't you think having John here is great? If only we could convince him to move here permanently. Hmm. Let's not worry. Let's worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent building first. The saw, saw is a great step. Now you can have a great. You can have a break. I cannot talk. 
Come back and talk to me when you're ready. All right. <laughs> I've got another job. Sure. I think camping is fun, but if we're going to convince people to stay, we got to start building more permanent structures. There's a lot of tin ore on this place. I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know a way we can melt down tin ore into, into stuff great for the building. Now I'll need you to bring me some items. We need one campfire, three stone, ten tin ore. Keep in mind, you need a mining license to buy a pickaxe to collect ore and rocks. Once you've gathered everything, come and see me. Okay. So I've got three, uh, two stone and three tin ore. I can always, you can always pick up your campfire. Just don't set yourself on fire. So let me see. There was some ore over this way. I want to make sure that there is nothing that's going to eat me in here. Excuse me. Can I get up? Thank you. Oh, butterflies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I want to collect. I'm looking for ore, but I'm also just picking like everything up. Still. Because you never know when you just want to sell it for some easy money. And I can get one more rock out of this. Those birds are so annoying, I swear to God. I don't know how they are in real life. Cockatoos. Alright, so these haven't respawned. These will all respawn. But it may take them a couple of days. So for the first while, you you don't even necessarily have to um, knock the trees down because you can, as you see, just pick up logs. After a while, though, you will have to. You you definitely will have to uh, knock some trees down in order to. I've got the three stone. Thought I saw some ore. There's a gators, two gators over there. That's doggo dens. There's some ore over here, but we've got to worry about the crocogators. Because if they're that close, they might aggro on us. We definitely don't want to let our energy go down too far. We won't be able to run away and we will die. That is just a simple fact. So we've got six or maybe back here. There's some more gators over there. Have I been leaving them? No, I've been get, taking them. Uh, maybe this way? Okay, we got that. So we got our quota for that. I am such a scaredy cat. When I see a sudden movement, it's just like, oh my god, I'm gonna get attacked. So I have a hard time with survival games. <laughs> I really do. Oh, and I gotta watch out for wearing, uh, not wearing moves, but bush devils in this area. And it's four o'clock, I might want to leave. There's another gator. Yeah, I want that tin ore, this is why I'm out here. But that is prime bush devil territory with those trees. They come out at like 4.30. Yeah, oh, vicious. Okay, so we've got, we just need one more. One more ore. Oh god, my, my energy is going down too far. <gasps> no!
Okay, so we've got all our ore. We have the campfire at home, so we're good. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's head for home. Definitely don't want... Oops. Definitely don't want to be out with the bush devils. Hello, puppy doggies. Yes, I know. Meat, free meat. Free meat, as we say. We have discovered free meat. Okay, this is not looking good. Um, where is our house? Ah, so if I follow this land, I shouldn't have to cross the water. Okay, hello puppies. You can attack the dogs and other creatures with the pickaxe. It's not a very good weapon, though. Trust me, it's not a very good weapon. Not if you actually want self-defense. There's our home. And storage is a problem. You know, your, or not storage, inventory. Inventory is always a problem. But eventually you'll be able to craft as many boxes and stuff as you want, and it should be fine. So Fletch and John are all, both, I think John is off at six. Let me see. Oh, no, he's already gone. <laughs> Never mind. He's right there. John, are you all right? Are you okay? Arvo already, eh, Hazel? Fish from this island are an incredible treat for those people back in South City. I mean, the only thing you can catch in South City is blobfish. Eating anything else is always a treat. Okay. Tell me I should go fishing. And here's Fletch enjoying the fire. Oh my god, my pockets are full. Um, so when your pockets are full, you can do this. I'm going to drop this seed. Just drop it on the floor. At least I think I'm going to drop it on the floor. And then it'll stay there, and you can um, bring the items to Fletch. Well done. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. There's a recipe for a crude furnace. Why don't you try crafting the crude furnace at the crafting table? Once you've crafted it, pop it down. Then just place the ore inside of it. It'll take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities. Bring me the tin bar. Okay. Crude furnace. Yes, it does take a while. Me walking around with my little pickaxe. Food furnace. All right. Oh my god, my pockets are still full. Seriously? Okay. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to do that. We can use that as a temporary storage chest. I guess that uses our campfire. So we technically need to craft another campfire, but we don't have any stone. So let me put this down first. Um, where is it? Fletch, honey, you're, you're kind of in the way, you know? Oh, I can put that there. And then I want to put the ore. this up so that's working I can also cut some things into planks let's see if I can get three stones so I can make another campfire and then we'll head to bed I'm gonna let this stamina go up a bit all right so I might have three stone. Let's hope. Uh, uh. Yes, I can create another comp fire. Yay! 
Hello, John. How you doing, old mate? Let's drag this down here. There we go. All right. Well, I think that's pretty good for our first day. All right, our first two days, whatever. So if you like the series, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much. We will be doing this, I think, as a um, permanent series for as much as I can. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening or day. Bye.